Cool. <clears throat> Let's go, Meat Boy. It's the co meet event, and this is an absolute banger. I feel like this is a fight that everyone has been waiting for for forever, and finally it's happening because it just makes such perfect sense. Robert Whitaker, the Reaper, taking on Marvin Vittori, aka Old Blocky. And if we look at these guys' resumes, they are so similar, it's honestly scary. Like, if you aren't named Israel Adesanya, then you've been absolutely smoked by Whitaker across literally like the last eight years, right? I mean, the only losses this dude has in the last eight years uh, was to Adesanya. And before that, it was Stephen Wonderboy Thompson all the way back in 2014, right? And then same thing for Marvin Vittori, where Adesanya also beat him twice. The last guy not named Adesanya to beat him was Shoe Face back in 2016. And we know that Shoe Face now is the PFL god. So... It's a crazy matchup in this one that both these guys are so good, both at such a high level. I mean, the difference being Whitaker was the former champ and got his soul snatched by Izzy. And then uh, Vittori had the opportunities, right, but was never able to capitalize. So in this one, both guys, you got to imagine, are going to be super hungry. Uh, Vittori especially. I mean, that dude just seems like he's just nose to the ground grinding, absolutely determined to be the first Italian champ. And then Whitaker would obviously love to reclaim his title as well. but. In this one, I mean, we could break down the guys that they've won and lost, or that they've won to all day. But in this, are you at all worried about Whitaker flirting with this idea? Oh, oh I might seriously consider go, going to light heavyweight. Are you at all worried that he's got one foot out of this 185 division? And if so, as a minus 230 favorite, might get uh, beat by an absolutely hungry Vittori? Or is this too much of a levels test for Vittori? And although he is near the top, Whitaker is just still a notch above. Who are you taking in this one? Yeah, this is such an insane fight. Great matchup. I mean, both guys are six foot, reach very similar. 28 31, both in their prime. But, you know, Whitaker is the man. I mean, he doesn't lose to anyone unless your name is Izzy, right? Like, it's just crazy. And I'm a little skeptical that this fight, um, you know, does arise this weekend. Uh, I think yeah. it will happen one day, but I don't know. Just, I feel like this, it's crazy if this fight actually happens. I hope it does. Yeah. With that being said, if it does happen, I think I'm taking the Italian dream. I think this is Marvin year. I think this is the year that Marvin gets the belt, Um, you know, this year leading into next year. I mean, he's 28. He's destined to be champion one day. It's just kind of whenever Israel Asanya dips out. Um, But I don't know. I I had Robert Whitaker pit winning this fight, which he absolutely should. But then my gut is just telling me Marvin, just because you know, like you said, he's determined. He's almost like this guy does not stop. And Robert's just like, man, why am I even fighting anymore? Izzy's up there. I know I'll never beat him, even though he could beat him. But his just mental game is not there. And so he's just kind of giving up and going to 205. So I think Marvin's going to retire him, send him to 205, and then Robert's going to BKFC. Man, if that ends up going down, then uh, that is a hell of a call for sure. And I'm with you 100%, though, in the sense that I feel like you and I believe that Robert Whitaker if he believed in Robert Whitaker, could take Adesanya, but there is some sort of mental roadblock that prevents him from just actualizing his true skill set against Izzy, because even in those later rounds, like, he was starting to figure it out, like, almost if, if it was a 10-round fight, perhaps Whitaker could have got it done, but this ain't boxing, and he didn't do enough early for sure, so uh, he's right there, Whitaker, but you wonder, obviously he's not going to get a third crack at Izzy, right? It's always difficult when you lose that championship opportunity twice. So I already understand, even with a win, him uh, having his sights, uh, or at least considering to some degree, 205, which would be interesting because, I mean, how fascinating would it be to see like Robert Whitaker take on Jiri or Glover Teixeira? I mean, there's a lot of funny matchups for the Reaper in that one for sure. But if we look at topology, I mean, I mean you're going with Vittori, who is a near 2-1 to one juicy dog. Only 18% from topology is with the Italian Dream, however, and... 82% is rolling with the Reaper Whitaker. Uh, it's an interesting observation that this is a three-round fight, right? These guys are both main event fighters. It's honestly kind of surprising to see these guys in a co-main uh, three-round fight. Tapology is awfully beige. It is a decision most likely for whoever wins this, or does someone sneak a finish? You know, if a finish does happen, I tend to lean on Whitaker, um, just because mm. Marvin's more of a volume, uh, you know, smother such decision warrior. Um, Whitaker, I would, if I had to guess, you know, I'd have to look, but I would, I would guess he has a lot more finishes than uh, Marvin Vittori. Um, but ah, uh, 
Marvin Vittori is such a blocky that I just don't see how he could get finished. This is for sure going to go decision. Um, I don't see how Marvin, with his little Max Holloway punches, take out Whitaker. And no one's getting a sub here, let's be honest. So if anyone does get a finish, it's going to be Robert. But Marvin is old blocky, so he's not being finished. So definitely, if the props are looking good on decision, I'm definitely rocking with that. And uh, Marvin Vittori by decision is what my pick is. Yeah, fair enough. And, you know, if we really inspect it, Vittori has never been finished in the UFC. However, to your point of, you know, him being precisely a decision master, he also only has two finishes over the UFC. And one was in his debut over Alberto Uda, who uh, is not is not good. He's just not a good fighter. So in this one, though, uh, I like your pick of Marvin. I, there's something in me, too, that thinks this could be the year of the Marvin. Like, this guy works so hard. He's uh, so determined, right? But I don't know, Mead. I feel like Whitaker, it's tough to pick against him. Uh, for me, boy, MMA sake, I'm going to go Robert Whitaker, but not laying any beef on this one, staying far away. I mean, if anything, it's just like a, a YOLO a YOLO dink on Marvin just because you're rooting for old blocky for sure. But for the official pick, I got to go Whitaker, probably by decision. I think he probably just kicks a lot, lands a lot of strikes on the feet, finds ways to just sort of out-slick, out-maneuver Marvin Vittori and... I think angry Marvin is coming out where he's visibly frustrated having to deal with the puzzle that is the Reaper. And uh, I like Robert Whitaker by decision. So any last thoughts on this one? No, this is a great matchup, great fight. Throw in the comments you got. You got old Blackie or the Reaper.